Hello. Um, my presentation is entitled, If Only Scientists Actually Believed in Evolution Theory. All right, here's my argument. Um, scientists, of course, will often um, espouse evolution theory um, as often, you know, in, in a variety of ways, but primarily as the theory of how we've come to have the diversity of life we have on our planet. So it's a theory that describes how one species can change um, and morph and become multiple species that have very different attributes. They claim this is the correct theory um, and therefore one that everybody should believe, especially over other theories that perhaps can try to describe the same thing, such as, for example, creationism. Well, that would be all well and good if they really believed it. But here's my contention. A core tenet of evolution theory, and in fact, the part of it that makes it so controversial, is the claim that there is really no qualitative difference between us and all of the other animals. Yes, we may be more complex physiologically, we may be more complex behaviorally, but really the notion is that we are not qualitatively different. That is, there's not something that we have that is not present, at least to some extent, in other animals. So that's why it was so contentious, because the notion of soul, for example, becomes lost. Either we all have souls, or, or none of us do, but it's not something like humans are not spirits in the material world. Okay, well if that's true, if they think that humans are not special, and there's not something different about humans, then why when they do research, are they quite comfortable with applying different ethical principles to human work versus animal work? Specifically, why do they think it's so reasonable to do things to animals that we would never consider ethical if they were done to humans. Things like brain surgery, removing you know, parts of their brains, uh, addicting them to drugs, and then taking them off drugs to see if they relapse. Um, you know, All of these kinds of things that if we ever did to humans we would find horrific. And yet scientists seem to think it's perfectly okay to do these things to animals. As though there is something about animals that makes them less worthy of the same ethical standard. And that notion, that belief, runs completely counter to evolution theory, and therefore that's my argument that really scientists don't seem to believe in evolution theory, or they at least do not behave in a way consistent with those beliefs. And I just wish they did. Thank you.